Uh, quiet on the set, please. Hello. Test, test. One, two. Shh. Testing. Uh, Captain, we're ready to get started. Uh, just take a seat over there. So I thought we could start with the whole I did my own stunts angle and sort of roll into my method for accomplishing this brooding stare. Yes, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, but, but first, could you comment on the disappearance of Clank? Oh, right. Little guy. What do you want to know about him for? You've got El Numero Uno superhero right here. Ah, look at that, huh? There's your superhero. You can't see it, but there's a tribal tattoo under there. That's nice, but if, if you could just give us your version of the events. I'm sorry. I thought we were here to talk about my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to tell a story without some sort of visual. Do you have any crayons? We'll uh, add in the visuals. All right. It began a couple of years ago. I was manning my post as chief volunteer at the Planetary Defense Center when a deadly space armada began attacking Metropolis. Naturally, I could have handled the matter myself, but I was compelled to escort a group of underprivileged orphans to safety. I contacted Ratchet and Clank and deputized them to act in my stead. We soon learned that a vile tyrant named Percival Tachyon had amassed a large army and set his sights on destroying the galaxy's thriving Lombax population. Um, Ratchet is the only Lombax. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Huh. Anyway, Tachyon was after a device that would enable him to bring back a banished race of creatures known as Kragmites. Little did he know, a mysterious race known as the Zoni were giving Clank new abilities including... Laser arms. But they were doing more than just giving him abilities, weren't they? Well, there was something about premonitions and yada yada yada, but the heart of the story is here with old CQ. Using my keen intellect and deceptive skills, I planted myself within the Emperor's ranks and tracked down the Dimensionator. Which you promptly delivered into the hands of Tachyon, enabling him to release the Kragmite Scourge. A mere bump on the road to victory, my friend. We still destroyed Tachyon, banished the Kragmites, and saved the galaxy. But then, in a shocking final twist, the very beings Clank claimed to have aided him snatched him from the Apogee space station, never to be seen or heard from again. Well, that's not necessarily true. Ratchet discovered his location in an uncharted system on the edge of the galaxy. His capture had been orchestrated by Dr. Nefarious. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I, of course, was on the set for my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot, which, by the way, you have yet to ask about. One of the greatest heroes in the universe, your colleague is captured by your nemesis, and you stay behind. Didn't you hear the call to arms? Of course I heard it. But when you get to be as big as me, you have to let a few of those babies go to voicemail, you know? <laughs> Kidding! Ha! Had you for a second. Of course I'm gonna help Clank. Me and Ratchet planned this whole thing. Hello? Call to arms? <laughs> Just kidding, it's my assistant. Roll! Fire up the ship and call Ratchet! I've got a hero to save! 